So in this video, we're going to be talking about parallel drum compression. So we recently completed a course using only Slate plugins. There's actually a link down below if you want to get the course. So I mixed a song by Little Empire, and many of you may know Lily's band, Little Empire. Um, it is live drums with some programmed elements, live guitars, you know, keys, you name it, background vocals, etc. And one of the things that I had fun with was mixing drums with parallel compression. The drum sound itself was actually quite easy to achieve without doing that, but I wanted to add a little bit more control. And the thing about parallel drum compression is even using the same compressor in two dramatically different ways, you can shape the sound quite heavily. So let's demonstrate it. So here's a loop of the chorus. So that's the drum sound, pretty big, sounds great. And I created two different drum buses. So all the drums are bussing to this one here, which is called drum sub attack. And then the one below drum sub smash. And both of those are going to the drums overall, which is the two buses bussing to one. But here's what's important. So this first one, I've got a bit of EQ going on here where I'm boosting some 11, 12K and a little bit of 60. But that's not really the secret. The secret is here over on the FG Stress, which is a remarkably good plugin. I've had a lot of fun working with this plugin. I have gone and you can see I've done an absolutely massive extreme here. I've got the nuke setting. So that's just like the completely over the top limiting. And the input I haven't gone crazy on, it's only defaulting to five. So I've got the slowest attack time, allowing a really big portion of the transients to go through, but with the fastest release time. So that will give us this kind of pap, 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 like a transient designer, but a little bit more sophisticated. I haven't done anything else except for do that. So you can see I've got the attack set to 10, the release set to zero, the inputs defaulted to five, and the output, you know, I've increased the output slightly at six and a half. Then what I did is I blended the mix back to about 50%. So take it off. So I've turned it off and I'll bring it in and you'll hear the difference. So here it is without any compression on this bus. Now, if we bring it on, all of those transients will get exaggerated. Here we go. Take it off. Back on. Now let's turn the mix knob to 100% so you can hear it. Take it off. Back it on. And here's with back on. So you can see it's really exciting. You've got that super fast transient coming in. The problem is in the track, that's half the drum sound you need, like super fast transients. So I created a parallel bus. And here we have another VMR. So I've done almost the reverse with the attack. Now I've got a super fast attack, so hardly any transient if at all is going through i still have the super fast release and you'll hear why in a second you can mess with that but what this is doing is going to add like this energy just this kind of annihilated drum sound so we'll go to full mix here so you can hear it just destroyed i'll turn it up for better effect So it's absolutely, as this name implies, nuked. So bring the mix back a little bit. 
So it has a semblance of the real drum sound. Here's the real drum sound. How polite that is. Super polite. Now listen to it. But you know what the secret is going to be. The secret is going to be to blend those two drum sounds together. So here it is with the two together. Here's just the nuked, destroyed one. And here is just the transient one. Add in the squash one. Bypass both these plugins. Both the plugins now turn on. So it's a very simple way, once you've mixed the drums and you've got a good drum sound, it's a very simple way of adding two great characteristics to your drum sound. A really super fast, aggressive, attacky, which I'm calling here the drum sub attack, and then the opposite, a drum sub smash. I'm calling it a smash bus and blend those two together and it gives me the drum sound I want. Then I actually blended these two together one more time to an overall and I went with the Slate Virtual Tape Machine and I destroyed it. You can have a listen. It's off and here's Bypass it. So it's another nice trick is to take those two drum buses, blend them the way that you want to hear them, and then sum them to one. So you're taking those, the drum attack and the drum smash and blending them to one. And something like the tape can really help because the tape will round off the transients really, really nicely. Or you could just use a limiter and just shave off the top and just tuck it in so it's absolutely perfect the way you want to hear it. So that's how I parallel compress drums. Now, this is using the FG Stress. You can use any compressor. It just has to have fast enough attack and release times. You know, an LA-2A emulation really isn't going to give you any of that kind of opportunity. You need something with variable attack and release, 1176 plugin, especially a modern emulation is probably going to be really easy for it. But I do love the FG Stress. I mean, a distressor is one of the most, if not the most versatile compressor available. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave a bunch of comments and questions below. And of course, Remember, you can go and check out the Mixing with Slate course down below. What we're doing is we're mixing the whole of this song only using Slate plugins. The other thing is we're going to do two group calls for people who get the course and you can submit your mix and we'll mix critique it and we'll discuss all of the different techniques. The way I mixed this song is I did it in real time over about six, six and a half hours. So you see me change my mind, go back, you see me tweaking things, you see the actual process. Most mix breakdowns that I've ever watched are just somebody looking like a genius because the mix sounds great and then they just open up all the plugins and show what they did. That is definitely has value, but it doesn't show how many times they went backwards and forwards and maybe changed their mind, which we all do. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Please leave any comments and questions below. Do you parallel mix stuff? Do you do it just on the master bus? Do you do it on individual instruments? What are your tips and tricks? Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.